Hey folks, and welcome to another early morning at Stockholm Arlanda Airport. Today we're doing something a little bit fun. Just over to Oslo on the SAS A320neo, but then up to Longyearbyen, Svalbard. <laughs> about the furthest north you can get on a jet airplane as far as I know correct me if I'm wrong if anyone knows you can go further north because after that it's pretty much just Arctic Ocean sea ice should be interesting we're in SAS plus front row like I like it all a320 neos and it looks like the Oslo flight is starting to board now so let's see what we see I'm in the plus cabin today flying Stockholm to Oslo, then Oslo to Tromsø before continuing on the same plane to Svalbard. Some days the flights go non-stop from Oslo. When you fly SAS Plus on these short hops, you'll usually get a small meal box or snack-like sandwich or wrap. You can choose from any of these snacks on the menu for free though, which is fun. Except I often feel a little ashamed to ask for more than maybe two or three at most. Anyway, this breakfast box does the trick for a very short 40 minute flight. All right, let's head way up north.
Things get snowier as we head north, but you ain't seen nothing yet. SAS has fast Viasat Wi-Fi on these A320s, with the added bonus that it's free if you're Diamond or in Plus. It wasn't working at first, but the captain actually came on to point out that this was because the satellite was directly behind us, and that once we made a bit of a turn, we'd get the service back. This turned out to be true. I appreciate that kind of info from the flight deck. Hello Tromsa, last time I came here was in midwinter, and to be honest, it doesn't look that much different in April, except there's more daylight. Now it's the same plane up to Long Yerbin, Oslo lands here in Tromsø and then continues north. I thought we'd just stay on the plane, but actually they make you get off. Everyone on the plane has to get off and uh, you go through a passport check here. So even though Svalbard is part of Norway, uh, it's kind of got a special status, which can be a little bit difficult to understand. They obviously want to check who's coming and going. So that was kind of interesting, did a quick little passport check and then came through here. This terminal is very terrible. I think they're building a new one, but for the moment we're stuck in this kind of temporary structure with not enough space. Anyway, excited to get on this last third leg up to Long Yerbian, and it'll be by far the furthest north I've ever been, 78 degrees north. It's also the most northern airport in the world with commercial service. There are other airports further north, but this is the highest you can go on a regular publicly available flight. And Svalbard, where we're going, is about halfway between Norway and the North Pole, which is kind of amazing to think.
recent video, I asked you to guess my top five most flown airlines. In this one, I thought I should update you with the answer. YouTube user Per Kele Keyboardist was the only one who got it exactly right. The list is American Airlines, British Airways, SAS, Cathay Pacific, and Finnair in that order. It's funny because I haven't flown AA much at all in recent years, but they were my go-to for ages. I've done 340 flights with them, covering 791,422 miles. So here's something you might enjoy. I have a few amenity kits lying around from recent flights, including Qatar Airways, Finnair, and British Airways, and I want to give them away. So in this video, I'll pick one comment at random to win one of these kits. To qualify, like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and then leave a comment telling me what your most flown airline is, and which amenity kit you'd prefer to receive. I'll let you know who won in a couple of weeks. I think it's about time for one of these Mikkeler IPAs that SAS has on offer. We've also got another sandwich thing, a bottle of water, and some chips from Gotland. It's another hour and a half up to Longyearbyen, flying pretty much straight north toward the pole. And then Svalbard comes into view. Check this place out. The Svalbard Treaty, which was signed in 1920, gave administrative control of and sovereignty over the Svalbard archipelago to Norway. But this is not just another part of Norway, and the treaty gives it a special and unusual status. If you're a citizen of one of the 46 countries that have signed on to the treaty, you can come here and live and work freely without a visa. The treaty stipulates it as a demilitarized zone and one where any of the signatory countries can engage in commercial activities. But currently, only Norway and Russia make use of this. Russia has a town here called Barentsburg, which is dedicated to mining. And coal mining still goes on even in Longyearbyen. They currently rely on it for their energy, although they're looking to phase it out. The result is that Longyearbyen is an odd and unusually international little town of a couple thousand people at the top of the world.
day. We definitely transported ourselves back to winter. It's stunning here, but uh, it's now snowing. What can you do? It's the price of going to the ends of the earth. Really cool thing about this place right now. Tonight the sun is gonna set around midnight and it'll come up again at 1.30 and then it's gonna stay up through the summer. So we have midnight sun as of tomorrow. It's currently April 17th. I had no idea that that would happen here so early. Kind of a funny mix with midnight sun plus wintry conditions. Anyway, it was a great trip up on SAS. You know, I throw SAS a lot of shade, but actually when you fly with them, they tend to deliver a very smooth and pleasant experience. I just wish they were a little bit more aggressive and less about cost cutting and being conservative and cutting routes and parking planes. You know, I just want to see them do more, but uh, really nice as I would have expected on the A320 Neo. Three flights went by in a flash. Nothing extravagant about the service, but still solid and uh, nice flying. Nice way to get up here to Svalbard. Now, let's go check out what this place is all about. I'm Gabe Lee, and this is Air Edition. Yeah. Nice. I didn't know we had a video. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. Woo.